Watch this before getting Pika Labs AI video generator. Today I want to give my honest review on Pika Labs, the video generator. I want to talk about some of the pros that I like about the tool and some of the cons that I don't like about it and also some alternatives that might you, that you might be interested in. By the way, my name's Chris. I'm a normal person. This isn't some AI avatar video that you're going to be seeing tons of in the future to come. I'm a normal dude and I live and breathe video and I have multiple YouTube channels and do this full time, clients, etc. But let's first jump into the tool, right? This is what Pika Labs looks like, and it's actually found at videogen.io. Uh, consider using my affiliate link in the description if you want to go check it out or just need help getting there. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the things that, you know, like if you're new to this tool, are going to be super important to know. So the pros of this tool are that it's extremely easy to use. Uh, it essentially specializes in creating videos, and that's kind of it. You know, some of these some of these tools have like uh, like 14 different like effects that you can do or like accessories to do this. They do a voiceover like Pika Labs essentially just does AI videos right now and it creates them. So all you do here is you click on create a video and there's kind of a, only a couple choices, which I like how simple it is, because some of these other tools, like I said, just get to be a bit overwhelming with too many accessories and bells and whistles. So what we can do is we can create a video using standard stock video, which is essentially, I'm guessing they're grabbing the footage from like uh, Storyblocks or like iStock, etc. which you can do that by getting a Storyblocks membership, or you can also do it here. And all you do is click on standard stock and click continue, and then you give it a prompt, kind of like ChatGPT, and you tell it what you want it to make a video on. So what I'll do is I'll show you a quick video that we made doing this. So it says content creator video. And what it does is it builds you a video based on the script. And again, you can modify the script however you want. It, the tool Pika Labs actually makes the script for you, but you can get into ChatGPT and ask it to make you a script and edit it, whatever. And then what it does is it comprises a video using that stock footage, because that's what you chose, the stock footage, and it, com it, it makes you a video. And you can, you can change all the settings. It immediately comes with a voiceover but I'll tend to turn that off. You know, like you can kind of like change the themes, the captions, etc. So let's have a listen. Based on the script, here it is. It just uses an AI voice to listen or to make the video. I'm gonna crank up the audio for us. Click play. Becoming a successful YouTube influencer begins with finding your unique voice. And So as you can see, it, I mean, it's just an AI voiceover, just kind of like all of these. But I really like the fact that the, the stock footage videos actually turn out really good. And what I'll do is say if I'm making a YouTube video for one of my channels, what I'll do is I'll put our entire video script in here and then I'll, I'll have it create a video and then we'll use this footage as B-roll. Because you know, like when you're doing like talking head footage or just a lot, any type of video really, you want B-roll. And if you're struggling to do that, you know, like with our finance, my finance channel, uh, we need B-roll because I can't just sit here and talk, talking head. And this is a great tool to make B-roll, especially because a lot of the sites like Storyblocks, like if you're paying a membership for Storyblocks, uh, that could be like 50, 60 bucks a month in itself. And this is pretty cheap and it, it, it turns out pretty well. But that being said, let's move on to the AI videos because chances are that's probably what you came here to do. So if I click on create a video again, the other choice is generative images, which is essentially AI, right? And then there's also premium iStock, but that's on the business plan. And I don't think you probably are interested in that unless you're paying like crazy amounts of money. Um, and essentially what that is, is just really high end stock footage that they probably don't offer to, you know, like the basic stuff. So to get generative images, all we do is click on this. This is the AI videos. This is how we're going to create AI videos with this tool. And um, what you do now is you choose down here, see, it'll tell you, do you want this to be a clip? Do you want it to be landscape? You want to choose the essentially all of this stuff, how you want your video to look. Maybe you want it a TikTok reel, change it to the nine to 16 aspect ratio and it's going to do that. You can also import from a URL. You can make a video from like an article or something. So then all you do is click continue and it's going to ask you a prompt. What I'll tend to do is I'll get in ChatGPT and just have it write me a prompt. I'll just say, hey, can you write me a prompt for an AI video generator tool? And I need it. I need the video to be this, this, and that. And all you do is paste it in here and then click go. And it creates the video for you. And I'll show you a result that we got here. Here it is. This is our AI generated video. And again, I asked it to make me content creator footage or a video on becoming a successful content creator. 
And here it is. We can have a listen. Becoming a successful <clears throat> content creator on YouTube begins with using the tools you already have, like your phone. All right, so that's what it looks like. And it's nothing super special. Um, so the pros on this tool, Pika Labs, is that it works fairly good at, and it does what it does. I actually like this tool probably more for just like the, um, just the, the, the stock footage website stuff because we, we need a lot of B-roll and such like that. And that works good for that. For the AI videos, they're decent, right? Um, I think there's a lot of tools making videos just like this. And, <clears throat> Uh, some, you know, the thing I don't like or the cons that I don't like about Pika Lab is that this tool isn't actually making real videos. So, you know, if we, if I mute this for just a second here, if we click play here, these aren't actually videos. What these are is actually images. And what it's doing is it's comprising an image list, you know, like, and just doing adding zoom ins on your videos. So if that's okay for you, that's fine. And again, guys, if at any point you want to check out Pika Labs, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. I, right now, I'm going to talk about some alternatives that I think, you know, if you're actually looking for an AI video generator, I think some other options for you. Because these this isn't actually AI footage, but these do work for videos. You can make short form vertical reels out of this, and they do okay. So my first complaint is that the still shots are too long. Like if we're watching the video, this is six seconds. So if we sit here and watch this video, one, two, three, four. See how that's too much time? If you're gonna pull still shots on me, this video needs to move faster because people's retention moves faster than this. This one is six, this one's like nine seconds long. Like that's just agony watching. So that that's my biggest con. First of all, there's not enough of the images. So I feel like that's that's another thing I don't like. And it's not actually AI generated video. These are images, guys. But I think the best alternative if you're looking for actual like AI generated videos is in video. And it's a it's a little cheaper. You could also go with VO3, but VO3 is really new and it costs $250 a month. And if like you're looking for the best, VO3 probably is it, but there's gonna be a huge learning curve. In video, on the other hand, is actually like it's pretty easy to do and it's not super, super expensive. Some of these videos, I think this video, let me show you an example. This video right here, I told it to make me a music video style video because we actually made a music video that kind of went viral on Facebook and um, using AI music, AI everything. And it made this video. Like see, this is true AI video and you will pay a little bit of money for it. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this video you can, you can actually do a lot of other features in NVIDIA, but this tool is one of the most widely used AI video generators on the planet right now, and the videos are good. Like, check this out. Um, it's actually really realistic. And it has other features as well, where you can turn images into video as well. Like, here is a content creator. Oh, no, here's a blue-collar video that we did for a client, I believe. If we click play here... There's no audio. I have it muted just because it's an AI voice and it's not that great. But like, it, it's pretty realistic, right? It gets better every single day. So if you're looking for like true AI generated video, I think in video is gonna be the best option. And also that being said here, here's one of a Florida grandma uh, getting arrested we did to try to make a viral reel. This, this one's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that trying to get videos consistent, like consistent characters in the video or like cars and stuff, like this video here, uh, we had a problem with her driving a charger. We told it, we told the AI to make a charger and it made a GTO here. And that was a, that was a problem for us. So like you will waste a lot of money trying to get like consistency in the videos if you're trying to make a storyline. Also, um, another option is HeyGen. This is where you can actually use AI avatars to do videos. And you know, like if you're looking to, I mean, these videos are crazy good. We have tons of clients that are making AI avatar clones of themselves like this. And then what you do is just do face front videos and then add B-roll. And then it takes you out of the equation of making videos. So hopefully that makes sense. I'll show you some quick results here. Let's click play and have a listener. Welcome to a new way of thinking. Let's explore what's possible. It starts with a fresh person. And again, what we can do is speed this up in editing and, you know, like there's different social media, like there's different avatars, there's tons and tons of them to just like, you can, you can make so many videos with this guys. So, um, watch this before getting Pika Labs. This is my honest review on Pika Labs. Talked about some of the pros that I like about the tool. It's extremely easy to use. It's 
pretty fairly, it's fairly cheap, um, but my cons are that it's not actually making like AI videos, it's making like still shots. But if this works for you, um, also the, the stock footage tool works in itself for video, like we use that a lot for B-roll. Again, I'm just sharing my honest opinion on this. Again, I'll link all the tools down below. They are affiliate links, you're just helping me out with that, because I am, after all, trying to help you guys out as well, because there's a lot of people asking, uh, I get messages every single day on these AI video tools because they're trying to leverage all this cool stuff to try to be on the cusp of like uh, like their business and just like leading edge technology and whatnot. Also, we have a bunch of communities. Um, I have one of the largest YouTuber groups. We have AI video generator Facebook groups. We have some of the largest photography groups. I am a just a dork when it comes to like content creation and all of this stuff. So um, yeah, we also have a school community. Um, again, watch this before getting Pika Labs. This is my honest review. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you guys have any questions and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.